What's going on everybody? It's Jack. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day whenever you're watching this. So I just actually filmed the grocery haul portion of this video yesterday. So today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how I'm gonna eat what I bought yesterday to fit my macros. My goal is around 3000 calories and 180 grams of protein minimum. If it goes above, not a big deal, but at least 180 grams. What I'm gonna do today in this video is break down each meal, how I cook it, what ingredients I use, the macros, as well as the price cost per meal. Since I have the receipt, and I can just divide everything into the number of servings. But first off, we have a very basic potatoes and eggs this morning, as well as a little bit of olive oil spray, some salt and pepper. As I mentioned, these things last me a lot more than a week, so I not include them in the grocery haul. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do three eggs, and then we're gonna use essentially one seventh of the entire bag of potatoes. So you can take five pounds divided by seven. What you can do is go ahead, take the number of potatoes in the bag, divide it by seven. So there are 15 in here. So 15 divided by seven is a little over two. So I would say use two potatoes a day. If you have three really small ones, that's the day I would go ahead and use three. But today we're gonna go ahead, pick out two decent sized potatoes, two, and go ahead and weigh these out real quick so I can tell you guys the exact amount. So that is 375 grams of potatoes. These will be getting cut up, sprayed with olive oil, salt, pepper, and air fried. And then as far as our eggs go, we're gonna be using three whole eggs. Also, I've been trying to learn the one-handed crack, so we're gonna go ahead, do a quick little test. Um, but I'm actually gonna go over to the sink, so if we have a mess, we can clean it up easily. So as far as our eggs go, I've been told to A, crack on a flat surface, and also kind of use like a claw technique, and as you crack it, you kind of pull it over the bowl and kind of twist opposite directions. So we're gonna go ahead, and give it a try. Okay, kind of. I think it could definitely be better. And this is this is just practice, right? We got egg shot right there. I still feel like I'm just crushing the eggs. All right, third try. Okay, that one actually wasn't too bad. I do see a little bit of eggshell in there. Also, I do know the trick. Use the eggshell to get the other eggshells out. All right, and these three eggs are gonna go ahead and get some salt and pepper and then cooked up on the stove. And our potatoes will go in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 12 minutes. Make sure to shake them a few times throughout the 12 minutes. All right, our potatoes are now in the oven. I always wait to cook the eggs since they take a lot less time. They don't take 12 minutes to cook. So I'll wait until the potatoes have about two to three minutes left. Go ahead and throw these on the skillet and scramble them up. You could do three over easy eggs if you want. Cook the eggs however you want. Poach over easy, over medium. I personally like to scramble mine. Keep it pretty simple, but cook them however you want. And boom, just like that, breakfast is served, potatoes, eggs. I actually eat this even when I'm not on a budget or making videos. I absolutely love this meal. The only changes I would say if I wasn't on a budget, if you guys see my videos before, I add a little bit of feta cheese to the eggs and also some egg whites just to increase the protein a little bit. But for this meal, it comes to be 494 calories, 66 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat, and 26 grams of protein. I also did include five calories for the olive oil spray that we used. And then also this meal comes out to be a whopping one dollar and two cents so the three eggs cost us 60 cents that is taking the two dollars and 38 cents for a dozen divided by four and their potatoes the entire five pound bag was two dollars and 94 cents i pretty much divide that by seven because we're gonna eat all the potatoes in seven days so it's 42 cents so yeah a dollar breakfast right here and i think that looks absolutely delicious so we're gonna go ahead and dig in and i'll see you guys at meal number two also for entertainment purposes while you're eating breakfast, if you're watching this video, you have access to YouTube, so go ahead, check out Good Mythical Morning. That's the show I watch every morning. You don't have to have a streaming, you don't have to pay for it, nothing, it's a free show, Monday through Friday, absolutely fantastic, highly recommend. Alrighty, it's time for our pre-workout snack. What we have right here is some oatmeal. We're adding a banana and a scoop of peanut butter in there as well. Also, the oatmeal we have is this great value. This is the maple brown sugar from Walmart. Go ahead, get whatever flavor you want. Real quick, I'll go over the macros for this meal. So this meal comes up to 465 calories, 67 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, and 13 grams of protein. 
As far as the peanut butter, what I like to do is mix it all actually together. You could eat it all separate, but I'm a fan of mixing my peanut butter in my oats and then also cutting up the banana. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. That is exactly 32 grams on the dot. I'm just an absolute wizard when it comes to measuring food. Boom, get that in there. And then as far as our banana goes, um, you can really do whatever you want with this. I personally, I just peel the whole thing or half of it, sorry. And then you use the spoon and you kind of just like cut off little pieces. And just like that, we have our pre-workout meal. It is still hot, so we gotta let that cool off a little bit. The oats are extremely warm, but this meal comes out to be a whopping 51 cents for this entire thing. So that is 18 cents for the bananas. It was $1.28 for all seven. So $1.28 divided by seven equals 18 cents. And then for the oatmeal, this entire pack of 10 was $1.57. We're using one pack, so 157 divided by 10 gives us 16 cents. And then the peanut butter, this was $2.34 for 14 servings. So 2.34 divided by 14 equals 17 cents. So this is by far the cheapest meal of the day. Obviously no protein in there um, outside of the peanut butter. So the protein is where the price goes up as you guys will see for the next few meals. But I'm gonna dig into this. We're gonna head over to the gym. We're gonna meet with Isaac. We're gonna do a little back and bicep workout. So I'll show you guys that. But um, yeah, Isaac, have fun with this edit. We just finished up a fantastic back and bicep workout. I will admit my chest is actually still really sore from yesterday, so it was kind of good to hit a different muscle group. Hopefully my back will be sore tomorrow, my chest will be fresh, that kind of thing. We are now onto our post-workout and third meal of the day. We have some pasta measured out right here. It is that penne pasta. I'll grab it real quick. Boom. It is the great value penne pasta right there. This thing was like less than a dollar for an entire box. We have two servings measured out right here, which is I believe 56 times two, so 112 grams of dry pasta right there. We got some water boiling. We also have 250 grams of a chicken breast. This chicken breast just happens to be exactly 250 grams, which is amazing after I filleted it and cut off some fat. So I basically butterfly this chicken just to make it a little bit thinner so it cooks faster in the air fryer, which we have over here. We'll also be using 50 calories worth of this traditional pasta. Once again, this is the, hope you guys can see that. This is the great value from Walmart. Again, this thing was also super cheap. And of course you can use whatever seasons you want, salt, pepper, keep it simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this chicken rub, uh, nothing crazy. Add that on there, boom, boom, boom. Pat that in, make sure you get both sides. I go ahead, I always spray my tin foil with a little bit of olive oil spray. Go ahead and lay the chicken in there. 
spoon. Spray. So our chicken will go in the air fryer at 365 degrees for 12 minutes, flipping halfway. Our pasta will go in the boiling water, and let's see if it has a time on it. For about eight to 10 minutes. So pretty much both of these will be done right around the same time. We'll assemble it. Pretty simple, chicken, pasta, red sauce. If you wanna use beef in this meal and chicken in a meal later, feel free to do that as well, but this is what I'm doing today. We got our pasta cooked up, our red sauce, and our chicken right there. So first we'll go ahead, take our chicken breast out of there. This is a whole lot of chicken. It means a whole lot of protein. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm gonna lay that down. And then as far as our pasta sauce, so this technically has five servings in it. We're gonna use it up throughout the week. So the way I do that, if something doesn't line up exactly, and it comes in like a can, whether it's beans or something like this, what you can do is take the number of grams it says per serving, so 128, times the number of servings on the can, five, and then how many servings you're gonna use it in. So if you wanna use it in six servings, in seven, whatever it is, I'm gonna use it in seven, so then divide by seven, and then you get 91 grams per serving for seven days. So that's what we have our scale here for. Go ahead, shake that bad boy. Pop it, put that on our scale. Then we need to scoop out 91 grams. Well, 92 grams, but close enough. So that's how you can take a container like this and actually split it up a little bit. So boom, go and throw the lid back on and we'll use that the rest of the week. And this is our meal right here. So we have our pasta, chicken, red sauce. Keep it super simple. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna add cheese to it because that wasn't in our budget. Um, but I would say if you do have the budget for it, definitely add some Parmesan cheese. Real quick, I'll go over the macros for this entire meal. So for this meal, the 250 grams of chicken breast, the two servings of pasta, and then the red sauce, it comes out to be 714 calories, 93 grams of carbs, five grams of fat, and 73 grams of protein. So that is our post-workout meal, plenty of protein in there, and then also the price of this meal, it's a little bit higher because we have some meat in there and the price of meats are higher, but it comes out to be $2.15. The chicken, we had seven breasts in that pack we got for $12.03 divided by seven, $1.72, the red sauce was $1.40 divided by seven, comes out to 20 cents, and then the pasta was 92 cents for the box. We used two servings of eight, so we can go ahead and divide that by four, gives us 23 cents. So the final price of the meal, $2.15 for this absolute behemoth, 73 grams of protein. Let's dig in. I actually probably should have cut it up before I put it onto the actual dish, but it is what it is. And that is extremely hot. I'm gonna let that cool down. Oh, oh, oh. All right, that is extremely hot. I didn't let that cool down, but I'm gonna dig into this, devour this, and we got one more meal. I do have to go to work, so that last meal will probably be a little bit later. I would typically eat my last meal around like 8.30, but tonight it's probably close to like 9, 9.30. But with you guys posted, beef, rice, broccoli. All right, what's up guys? So I pretty much just about almost forgot to actually film this video for you guys since it's so late, I just got back from work. So I actually cooked it up and started to eat it before I realized I didn't record this or talk to you guys. So what we have right here is a little bit of half eaten eight ounces of our 93.7 ground beef, and then one cup dry of that rice we got, but it actually came out to be probably like two cups once it was cooked, so it's a lot of volume, how to bring out the big bowl. We've got a little over a cup of broccoli over here. Haven't eaten any of that yet, but start on the beef and rice. And we're also gonna to top off today's calories with one more tablespoon of our Peter Pan creamy peanut butter. So for this meal, it comes out to be a total of 1,170 calories. Yes, this is a big meal with a lot of calories at the end of the day, um, but that's just how today worked out. I'd probably try to split this up into two meals, but today this is all we had time for. It is 157 grams of carbs, 32 grams of fat and 70 grams of protein. And yeah, this is gonna be our last meal. The rice made it very high calorie as well as 200 calories worth of peanut butter. The price of the meal, um, the beef, rice, broccoli, and peanut butter, it comes out to be $3.85 with the beef being $3.16 of that. 
And then for the entire day, let's see. And for the entire day, we're at 2,843 calories, 383 grams of carbs, 72 grams of fat, and 182 grams of protein. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the goal was 100, I think 70 or 80 grams of protein. So definitely clear that goal. We're a little low on calories. Um, I probably could have eaten maybe another thing of oatmeal and that would have gotten us up. Um, otherwise, the total for the entire day is $7.53. If we would have subbed in chicken instead of the beef again, it probably would have been a little bit cheaper, maybe like a dollar cheaper for day. But regardless, I'm gonna dig into this, put on some TV, eat this. This might take me a little while to get through. Um, it's almost 10 now. Hopefully I'll be done by 10.30, whatever it is. But um, I'm glad I have a little bit more peanut butter in the diet, so not too mad about that. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions down below. So we did last video was a grocery haul. This video was a full day of eating the actual food, um, right around the $50 mark for the entire week. Uh, kind of bland, I would say. I would definitely spice things up with some uh, extra sauces, cheese. Um, I'd probably put ketchup on this, something like that. But without further ado, I'll end the video now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.